Hi, I'm Catherine. I'm a senior systems engineer here at EGI, and today we're going to talk about how to move your transmitting and receiving antennas to a particular location on your 3D model. So as you see here, I have an aircraft flying around in a mountainous area, and I have a transmitter that's coming out of the pod below the vehicle itself. And I've done this by putting my transmitter attached to a sensor in STK. So by having him on this pod front sensor, I've very easily been able to locate this transmitter. And when I open up the properties for this pod front sensor, you will see that his location is listed as 3D model. And if we go down to our vertex offset page, we can see that it is using an attach point on this 3D model called our Caesar Sensor 000. So this is an item that has been added to the 3D model itself to allow you to attach objects to a specific location on that 3D model. So I didn't have to know exactly what the translational offset from the center of the model is. The 3D model had this included, and so I used, simply used it to place my sensor on that particular location of the model. Now, say for example that your model doesn't have a attach point added onto it. How would you go about moving your sensor then? Well, there's two different ways you can do that. You can go forth and add an attach point to that 3D model, and there'll be other videos that will describe to you how to do that. Or you can do a translational offset for your sensor to move it to a specific location on that vehicle. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to turn off this front sensor and turn on a transmitter that is out on our left wing blade tip. So here you can see we have a helix antenna that is centered out here on our left wing as opposed to at the center of our vehicle. Now how it was added to our left wing was by opening up the properties for this sensor and you can see his location is also at 3D model. But when I go down to our vertex offset page, our vertex offset is just a translational offset from the center point of our 3D model. So it was moved in both X, Y, and Z to a particular location on the vehicle body that I have specified. So these are the two ways that you can move your transmitters and receivers out to a particular location on your 3D model. One of the benefits of having your antenna pattern in the exact location on your 3D vehicle is that it takes into account all the attitude information that this vehicle is having. So you may notice that this vehicle has a slight bank to it. And because of that, our antenna pattern also includes that bank and our power is being pointed out in, it, in that direction, not straight down. So this is very important for doing all of your analysis is having your antennas in the appropriate locations for where they really would be on the real world systems.